Hello everyone. In the last video, we just saw how to calculate purchase consideration by using net payment method. In this particular video, let us see how to calculate purchase consideration by using net asset method. First, let us see the question. Question is on the screen. Please take the screenshot of the question. From the following data, calculate the purchase consideration. Total book value of assets is rupees 10 lakh. Assets are taken over at 20% less than book values. Total liabilities of the company were amounted to rupees 4 lakh. Some of the liabilities were not taken over, which amounted to rupees 1 lakh. Liquidation expenses of rupees 10,000 will be borne by purchasing company. Now pay attention here. The liquidation expenses of rupees 10,000 will be borne by purchasing company. This liquidation expenses we should not consider while calculating purchase consideration because liquidation expenses they have clearly given in the question that it is borne by purchasing company. So in and kottidare ili assets kottidare liabilities eshtu anta kottidare. Ega by using this assets and liabilities we should calculate purchase consideration. Let us see how to solve that. So in this problem they have given the details about assets as well as liabilities. So we need to use net asset method to calculate purchase consideration. In question first what they have given total book value of assets is equal to rupees 10 lakh book value of assets yesterday book value of assets how much it is 10 lakh but see the second question assets are taken over at 20 percent less than book value andre 20 percent kadime thonokthaidare actual value assets yen idiyala adrinda 20 percent kammi thonokthaidare anta bardide so less assets not taken over how much 20 percent so total value of assets is 10 lakh into 20 percent value of assets is the value of assets bandhu 10 lakh ide adrali 20 percent thagondu hokta illa avaru that means 2 lakh assets thagondu hoktila in 10 lakhs they are not taking 2 lakh value of assets atta laksha assets alli 2 lakh ast assets thagondu hoktila andre eshta agutte 8 lakh which means out of 10 lakh they are taking only 8 lakh of assets and 2 lakhs worth assets they are not taking over. Next, see question number C. Total liabilities of the company were amounted to rupees 4 lakh. So, less liabilities. So, from assets we have to reduce the value of liabilities. Now, what is the liabilities of the company? The liabilities of the company is 4 lakh. Company liabilities is 4 lakh. Ito. Question number D. Some of the liabilities were not taken over which amounted to rupees 1 lakh lakh out of 4 lakh 1 lakh rupees worth liabilities was not taken so less liabilities not taken how much 1 lakh rupees worth liabilities they are not taking over that means how much they are taking only 3 lakh liabilities as i have told you while explaining the introduction in net asset method we will minus the total value of liabilities from total value of assets. So, net asset method ali liabilities value na assets value jatage minus madabeko. So, we have to minus 3 lakh from 8 lakh. When we minus 3 lakh from 8 lakh, we will get 5 lakh. So, this 5 lakh is nothing but the purchase consideration. 8 lakh ali 3 lakh na minus madadaga nam geshti sigate, 5 lakh rupees sigate. This 5 lakh rupees is nothing but the purchase consideration. So this is how we should calculate the purchase consideration using net asset method. Hope you have understood the question and the answer. I have put in the first comment. You can download it and study. Thank you. If you have any queries regarding today's session, kindly send your queries to education.mbbroadcast at gmail.com.